Hey everybody, come on in and welcome back to All Access Live. I'm your host, CC Harrison, and I hope your week is off to a great start. I know that my week is. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to visit our nation's capital, and I was tagging along with my husband, the commissioner for Police Week. We were paying homage to all of the fallen heroes along with their families. And we were both so glad just to be there to represent. You know, my husband has gone to the Capitol so often. He's been to the White House, but it was my first time inside. And so being escorted behind the scenes, being up close and personal and everything, it was all access for real. And I have to tell you, I had to contain myself and act like I had good sense because I didn't want to embarrass y'all. I didn't want to embarrass you, but it was all excess. And you know, that's what we preach every week, that God is going to show us another level of access. I can't tell you everything that happened, but just know this that I got to get on another level and God showed me something amazing. You know, when you look back on where God has brought you from, I believe that that's what God is doing for somebody right now. Not too many days from now, somebody on here, you are going to look around and see that you are on another level, that you have access because you have come a long way. And while you weren't paying attention, God was upgrading you, giving you access to places you've never seen before, blessing you beyond measure. And you are not gonna believe your eyes when you turn around to see how far God has brought you. That's a word for somebody because it's gonna be greater than you ever dreamed or ever imagined. So just keep on confessing it. You are soon going to possess what you've been confessing. Pretty soon you're going to see it. Let me get myself together because if I think about it for too long, I'll get too excited. I'll break out into a praise break. So let me calm myself down, but it is Monday and you know what that means. It's time for you to like it's time for you to share and invite someone. Come on in, tag and comment. You know, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let everybody you know, let them know about all access. I would love for everyone to have access to motivational messages, to prayers and inspiration at any time. And they're all right there on our YouTube channel. So please subscribe if you want that availability. Go and check them out. But today, we are still in the midst of an amazing series that we've been bringing to you. It's entitled, What's Going On? We simply ask the question, what's going on in this world today? I know you see it. You see all of the chaos, all of the commotion, the wars and rumors of wars. The seasons are even changing. And you might have even asked yourself the question, what is going on? And so we've been dealing with end time prophecy. We've been dealing with what's happening around us, what's happening in our world today. And as prophets, it's our duty. As watchmen on the wall, it's our duty not to be busy, too busy to where we're not paying attention to discern the times. You know, the word of God says in Amos 3 and 7, for the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants, the prophets. Jesus talked to his prophets, his disciples in Matthew 24 about the end of an age because he wanted them to be prepared. And so I just believe that God is still wanting his believers, his children to be prepared. And that's the reason why he sent us a prophet on tonight. He sent us someone that has a life, a life of consistency to help us get ready 
And on tonight, that's why I believe she's here. God kept putting her on my heart. She is a prophet in her own right, a woman of God that the Lord kept putting on my heart. She has mentored me for years. And I respect her to the utmost. She's been like a second mother to me. But the reason I respect her so much is because she not only knows the word of God, but it is ingrained in her life. You see it all over her life. She's not afraid to stand on the word of God. She is a co-pastor, a Bible teacher, a prophet, and a four-time author. I love her, and I know that she's going to bless you. All Access Live Associates, would you help me welcome to this segment, <laughs> Dr. Diane Dumford. Welcome, welcome to All Access. We thank amen. you for being on tonight. Amen, amen, CC. I thank God for you. Good evening to your viewers. I praise God that you have invited me to share the word, to share with you. I thank God. And then we go way back. I thank God for you because when your mother came to me, I hired her or employed her at Innovations Home Health. And she brought you to me. And I thank God for that. So yes. it was it's such a blessing because when you came to me, you were a student nurse. And you, had a, you have a spirit of excellent, excellency on your life. And that you came and you organized my company. And we knew where everything was after you organized. I had somebody in there before you. But when you came, my agency came to order. Amen. And Amen. so as you matured and, 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 and then you graduated and you, you worked in the quality assurance department and then you graduated and you became my director of nursing. I thank God for you. You've been such a blessing in my life. Amen. I couldn't say. I don't have enough time within this time to even say how much I love you and how much I really appreciate you. Amen. God bless God for your life too. And Amen. we've collaborated so many times. We've I've learned so much from you in the nursing field, but th then in the you know field of, of, of just being a prophet, being biblical, and and having that testimony that kind of shaped my life, not just my career but yeah. shaped my entire life. Amen. And uh, we've collaborated on some projects recently. I'm so proud of you Amen. becoming an author. This is your book. I know we'll tell the people more about it. This is only one of the books that you've written, but this is the one um, where you refer to 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, where it talks about Amen. God will not have us ignorant, but what Satan will always try to get advantage, take advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices. And you said this, you said the Lord has given us his manual, which is his holy Bible to follow his instructions and his directions. We must follow his instructions or we will not have victory in every area of our lives. If we don't follow the commands of the Lord, we allow the enemy to come yeah. in our lives and to wreak havoc, then we wonder what is wrong. Then we wonder what's going on. So that's <clears> what we're asking tonight. And mm -hmm. I want to give you the floor so you can go forth, teach the people. If you want to prophesy to the people, whatever you want to do tonight, the platform is yours. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. God is so good. I tell you, I, I thank God for, for the word of God because the word it says, and I want to just say this to you, that I feel like I'm, I'm like Paul, that Paul said that I'm determined to know nothing but Jesus Christ and him yeah. crucified. Amen. So so all that I know is wrapped up in, in the, the death, burial and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So. The Lord said also, if we willing and obedient, we'll eat from the good of the land. Amen. So we stand in, we stand in strong on the word, but this is some, uh, this is spiritual. Amen. God said we shall not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and high and spiritual wickedness in high places. So we need to just keep our armor on. Amen. But the biggest thing that, that today that I think that that the word is saying that if my people, 
And we should be really, really praying for what we see is happening in the world. The Lord said, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, he said, then I'll heal. I'll hear from heaven. I'll heal the land and I'll forgive their, their sins. So we ought to put, put the accelerator on, on prayer being before the Lord. But as I want to share with you uh, from uh, Revelation chapter 16, amen, praise God. But let me just pray, and you've prayed, I'm gonna pray again, because our subject is wars, wealth, and eschatology. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Lord, we praise you, we adore you. We come before you, Lord, humbly as we know. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord God, for you have made this day and we shall rejoice. Give us our daily bread, Lord. We cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Lord, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Oh, my God, lead us not into temptation. Lord, you will only lead us in the path of righteousness. God, we thank you that we all need something for you. We all, Lord God, we are wretched undone, but Lord, we are before you and we want to hear a word from you tonight. We come before you as Mary, Lord God, at the foot of the cross, at your, your feet, getting the better part is the word of God. Amen. Praise God. So Revelation, Revelation chapter 16, the vows of God's wrath, God's judgment. And it's difficult for many people uh, to believe that God's judgment, that God will pull out his wrath and his judgment on this world. Mm -hmm. But can I tell you that the wrath of God is not for the people of God. It is for the sinner. It is for the ones who have rejected God, uh, Jesus, God in the flesh. Amen. But in the beginning, and I always have to go back to the beginning. Amen. I heard you say that, CC, and I've also heard Dr. G say the same thing. You have to go back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. God warned mankind, warned Adam and Eve, that it would be consequences for their free will. We have consequences. You know, we have a free will, but if you choose the wrong thing, there are consequences. Well, lo and behold, you know, Adam and Eve, they, they, they chose, you know, death. They chose a curse. And it fell on all of us because the word says that as one man sin entered into the world and death by sin, and so death passed upon all of us because of sin. But he didn't leave us there. Praise God. He didn't leave us there. He said this. He said, as one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. But as but by one man's obedience, Jesus Christ, many were made righteous. And I thank God, you know, for that. We know that Adam and Eve, you know, they sinned in the Garden of Eden because he, the Lord gave them a commandment. You can eat from any tree in this garden, but this one tree of knowledge of good and evil, do not eat of it. And in the day that you shall eat of it, you shall surely die. So that's why sin came upon us. So as we look at, as we look at, uh, well, God, God put blessings and curses before us. He tells us to choose blessings, even though we got a free will. He put mm -hmm. life and death before us, even though we have a free will. But in Matthew chapter 24, verses one and two, um, Jesus, the disciples had come to Jesus uh, and had, had a tour in the temple showing them the buildings. Oh, they were so excited. But as Jesus did not know what was going on, he says, I'm omnipresent. I, I'm everywhere all at the same time. I'm omnipresent. Every and I know everything all at the same time, and I'm omnipotent. So, what is it? Well, you want to have this conversation? Let's have this conversation. So, they went on to say that uh, now you see all these things. Well, Jesus said, You see all these things, and I say unto you, There shall not be left one stone on top of the other before all this is thrown down. But then they, they went on uh, uh, to say, 
in uh Jesus went on uh, on to say I, I believe it's in um Luke uh chapter 21 5 uh -huh. that he say this he said all this stuff that you're beholding and uh, and, uh, and 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 you are really setting your affection on things on this earth he said he he said you beholding these things but everything will be demolished everything will be gone so set your affection on things you know, above uh, of above and so which is in in heaven on the lord jesus christ amen and so and and so when we look at praise god um we look at a similar verse in second peter uh 3 10. he said but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night now let me just say to you that he will not come as a thief in the night uh, for, for, for believers, for born again believers, because we know that he's coming. No, we don't know the day or the hour that he's coming. Amen. Right. We don't know. The angels don't know, uh, nor the son. And so, but the father, but he's not coming as a thief in the night for us because we know he's coming. We anticipate that he's coming. We expect him that he's coming and we built in ourselves up in the most holy faith of God. Amen. And also, we are keeping ourselves in the love of God. If you keep yourself, and you can be kept if you want to be kept. Amen. So mm -hmm. keeping yourself in the love of God and, and looking for the mercies of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, then you're going to be all right. So don't worry about uh, Jesus coming as a thief in the night. Amen. And so he said, but this, he said, this, that, mm, that 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 the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements will melt with fervent heat well this is going to happen i believe that every word in this bible will be fulfilled because uh -huh. god cannot lie he said i'm not a man that i shall lie neither the son of man that i shall repent he said had i said it and shall i not do it yes lord I spoke it he said i go i will make it good mm -hmm. amen and so God bless you, no man can curse you, amen? So, so what, what we ought to be so concerned about, um, and, and the word says, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to, to be in your holy conversation and godliness? How is your living? So don't be so concerned about the judgment of God, but be concerned about the lifestyle that you live that God will judge. Yeah. We'll okay. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So then the disciples asked Jesus again, when these things will take place and what and when and when is it coming and when will the end of this world will be? But Jesus said, and I love what he said, he said, look, he said, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed. He said, because many is going to come in my name and say, I'm the Christ, and here uh, Christ is over here and he's over there. But he said, don't panic. Don't go after them. Don't you be deceived because many, many people will be deceived. Even some so-called Christians will be deceived. And then he said this, he said, you will have wars and rulers of wars. And you'll see, see now that you be not troubled. Don't be troubled because of all this. I mean, you, you look at, you don't want to be insensitive to what's going on in Ukraine and Russia and all, you know, because you see all these people dying and uh, I mean, like an open grave and all, you know, it's a sad thing, but these things must come to pass. Mm -hmm. You know, God, we ask God to intervene, but we pray that God, your will be done. Amen. So, so because it, you know, it's when you think about it with this man, Laramie Putin, uh, shedding blood, the Lord said, because he showed no mercy, he will not get any mercy. You shed the blood and you will die. You, you shed with the sword, you're going to die by the sword because mm -hmm. God will not be mocked. Whatsoever man sow it, that shall he also reap. So when, as I looked at, <clears throat> praise God, the preparation, hallelujah, uh, of the end, the end times, <clears throat> there's a, a terrible time that will come upon the face of the earth. 
And the Bible calls it the great tribulation. And we know that tribulation means afflictions, suffering, mourning, and so forth. And, and what we look at, oh God, we look at the tribulation period has, uh, 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 has two parts. It's a, the first three years, three and a half years is, um, is the beginning of sorrows. Mm -hmm. But the second three and a half years is the great tribulation. I believe just like the word says that we are in the beginning of sorrows. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because that first part of the tribulation, it means beginning of sorrows. Amen. But it's going to come a time that um, it's going to be so bad that man is not going to be able to stand. I don't know if we're going to be here. I don't think, I don't think so, but that's just something I'm thinking. One reason uh, no one will be able to stand is because the full wrath of God will be poured out on God. And I believe that that is in the last, the last days, uh, the last days. But one thing, one day with the Lord is a thousand years and a thousand years is one day. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, and another reason no one would be able to stand is because the door of heaven will be open. Just like in the days of Noah, when Noah was telling the people, get it right. Come on, get it right. Come on and repent and come in. But at one time when the, when the ark was closed, they couldn't come in. They were taken mm -hmm. away. Uh, with the flood and all. And so it's going to be like that uh, again when the son of man appear. Amen. So we, we and, and we thank God, you know, that we can see in the word that some things are happening. And as we look at God is going to judge this world. He wouldn't be a righteous and a holy God if he didn't judge this world. He said, Amen. look what he said. He said, when I come, I will reprove this world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Now of sin, because they don't believe, they rejected that Jesus is the son of God, that Jesus is God in the flesh. So, so God said, I, I got to come and judge that. And of righteousness, Jesus says, because I go unto the father mm -hmm. and then I come back for you. But I thank God for our Lord and Savior Jesus because he said, it's expedient that I go. He said, because if I don't go, I won't be able to send, send you back the comforter or your helper. But I'll send you back the Holy Ghost so that he can lead and guide you in all truth. And you will not be ignorant. I will give you understanding in all things. And, then he, said, and then he said of judgment because the prince of this world has to be judged. Amen. I want to ask a question, Dr. Dunford, um, because so many times you hear people who... I guess, um, want to be comfortable mm -hmm. in their sin. And they say things like God is a God of love. You know, there's no way he's going to judge. And, or at, by the same token, you know, another side of the coin, they will say, if God is so good, why is he allowing all of these things to happen? Why did he allow my, my, mother to die why did he allow this to happen what's happening in ukraine well if you don't believe in god and you don't think that he's a judge what do you want him to do in ukraine it's okay okay mm -hmm. so so god has to have god has to judge that and whether or not people believe the word of god and what god says it has no effect on the truth uh-huh Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't matter what people say, what they believe. If you don't believe the truth, God said, let every man be a liar, but let God be true. So you have to go to the word and search the word out to see what is God saying about the situation. But if, if, yeah. if, you, if you're not born again, if you don't believe God, you're not you're not going to get anywhere. That's why we don't talk a whole lot to man in the natural, because the natural man cannot receive the things of God. Oh, you can't so foolish this unto him, neither can he know it because it's spiritually discerned. You can't really understand spiritual if you're not if you're not born again. That's so true. And I see Dr. G on and she's saying the same thing. He's a free will God. Yeah. And, and he's, you know, he gives us free will. It's up to us to choose. It's up to us to prepare for his coming. But if you have free will, and if man has free will, Amen. then 
he he does in his free will all of this some of this evil that we're seeing that's done out of man's free will that's, that's done out of man turning away from god that's it that's mm -hmm. it praise it that's it so yeah. he has to and i thank god for the holy spirit because the holy spirit will convict when 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 paul was uh sharing the word in acts 2 27 he said the, the as he shared the word the holy spirit convicted hearts mm -hmm. because when uh, paul said you know to the israelites he said this same christ the same man that you crucified god has made him christ and lord yes the hearts were pricked and so the question came he said well what what must we do and paul said repent uh -huh. repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of jesus christ for the amen. remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the holy ghost amen yes. amen amen so, and so, so the difference is you know we, of course you don't teach and prophets are not teaching in this age to condemn but to bring conviction but to you know not teaching to condemn anybody because the bible says we all have sinned and, and come short, short of the glory we all have sinned so it's not our place to to condemn but it is our place to teach the word of god that will bring conviction that brings conviction you know, you know and when and, and when you preach the word when you're teaching the word. If they, God has had to tell me so many times, they're not rejecting you; they're rejecting me. That's right. If you're teaching the word. You're showing up teaching the truth. Amen. They're not condemning, or they're not they're not rejecting you. They're, they're rejecting re God at that That's point. It. But nevertheless, we still got to teach the word. We still got to We got to tell you the truth. So yeah. the Lord say, "He that believe it on him is not condemned." But he that believe it not on him is condemned already. But here's mm -hmm. the condemnation that people hated the light because they love darkness more than they love the light. Why? Mm, there it is. Because their deeds are evil. You there know, it they is. get very uncomfortable. It's not that I'm going to point my finger at you did this and you did that. No, Jesus loves you. Mm -hmm. But you got to be open to what God is saying. You got to be open to what God is wanting to do in your life. And my prayer is, is that Lord, um, search their hearts and Lord, you prepare their hearts. Lord, you know, it, it, we can share and we can pray for them, but Lord, you do the drawing because we know what the word say, that it's not by might nor by power, but by the spirit says the Lord. Amen. So it's the spirit of God you know that is drawing that's why Amen. every time we come before anybody to share is that we lift up the name of jesus and he said i will draw all men unto myself now Amen. i don't know if i'm gonna get to some of this but uh on on judgment you know in in the uh, in revelation the lord was 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 talking about all this judgment how different angels will have an assignment in, in, in the days to come, uh, uh, in, I guess that's the, the tribulation, how he's going to pull out different, um, uh, the wrath on these, this uh, on, on, on the earth. It will be God's uh, judgment. He will execute judgment because God is fed up with all of this that's going on here in the world. Mm -hmm. And just what we have seen with the pandemic, uh, COVID-19, well, COVID-19 is going to be like a cakewalk in the park as what we're going to see in the future. Right. Okay? So in Revelation 16, it said that God, it would be a cancer of souls that were going to, going to happen. And guess what? It's going to be so evil and so grievous and so, so um, hurtful that they will not be able to find a cure for it. Mm. So, so, and it happened to the Egyptians in Exodus chapter nine, uh, the saints will escape, but not the sinners. Yeah. The sinners yeah. who have taken the mark of the beast. And I understand, uh, in, in the, in the North, some of the states in the North, some of people have taken the mark of the beast huh. and they think that they saved their life, but really they're losing it because Jesus said, whosoever will save their lives will lose it and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it mm -hmm. amen but that will be that will the, the world will not be able to find a cure for that particular soul 
and it will not disappear. Amen. It will not disappear. But then when we go and we look at the wars and rumors of war, in Revelation chapter 16, verse 12, it says that the angel will pour out a bowl of wrath on the Euphrates River. Where is that river? That river is in Palestine. Mm -hmm. It's in the Mediterranean uh, uh, Sea. Now, I understand that Israel has two capitals. The north of Israel is, Pal is the, the capital is, uh, is Palestine, but the south of Israel is the capital is Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So that's why we must pray for the peace in Jerusalem. Because the Lord say when uh, uh, the, the way is going to be prepared, that the war will take place, or uh, the, the, the way will be uh, uh, prepared to cross over to Palestine to fight Israel. Y'all, we better, we, we, we need to be praying every day. I mean, put the accelerator down to the pedal, okay? Right. This includes the Arabs, the mm -hmm. Japanese, China. The war will, 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 will start a war against, because it's war against the beast, amen? And this battle is called the Armageddon. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I just believe that that is in the tribulation uh, period. But this is what, what, what I found here, is that the battle involves all the kings of the world. The kings of the north, all the kings of the world, uh, all nations north of Palestine, including Russia, the kings of the south, all nations south of Palestine, including Africa, the kings of the west, all nations west of Palestine, including all nations of the Americas, including America, Canada, and the European countries. So we better get ready and we better stay ready in prayer. Amen. So. Amen. All of these particular armies and what they, their main interest is, and they're only going to protect their own common interest, which is the oil in the Middle East. Mm. That is mm. their interest, is to protect the oil in the Middle East. Amen. Wow. But God wow. will all, he will always give us a warning before judgment. He mm -hmm. always will do that. Amen. Amen. The time, the time, the time is at hand. That's all I'm saying. The time is at hand, and I believe that in the book of Joel, how uh, Joel, you know, said that we ought to sound the trumpet in Zion. Amen. And, uh, girl, and that's what this has. That, that's what this series has been about. Amen. To sound the alarm, amen. to have people to start to prepare, stay prepared. Stay we prepared. don't know this is not, you know, to scare anybody, but believers ought to stay ready. Yeah, and yeah. as you said, the wrath of God is for the sinner. It's, yes. not, for the, uh, it's not for believers because yeah. we know that when Jesus returns, we're going to fight with him, but we're going to be that's in it. our glorified that's bodies. It, that's it. We're going to be in our glorified bodies. And so there's no need to be afraid, but we, it's time to sound the they alarm. Are. That's, and that's, not, God will not have us ignorant. But amen. I just want, Dr. D, before we leave, uh, our time is far spent. I just want to know if they have any questions out there for you. You all can put them in the chat. If no questions, if you want special prayer, amen. if you believe it for a loved one who needs to be saved, before amen. this great judgment, if you believe it for somebody and it seems like they just won't turn their life around, you know, we want to pray for them tonight. Yes. So that their ears will be open so that they will hear the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ and yes. accept it, receive him as their Lord and Savior. I want you to pray, Dr. Dumford. For somebody who needs to hear this glorious gospel and to turn their life around. We know you have free will, but Father, we, we want to pray that their thank will will be turned towards you. Oh God, thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We give yeah, you glory, God. Lord God, and we give you honor. 
Lord, we give you praise tonight because we came and we lifted up your name that you will get all the honor and the glory. But Lord, in your word, you say that one day with you is like a thousand years and a thousand years is as one day. Yes, God. And that you're not slack concerning your promises and you have no respect of person. Yes, Lord. Lord, you saved us and Lord God, you will save others, Lord God. Yeah. And Lord, we thank you for your long suffering because your long suffering was because was for salvation. Yes, Lord. Now, Lord, we lift up, Lord God, everyone who, Lord, have heard this word. Lord, and Lord, even, Lord, Lord God, in the spirit, you draw by your spirit. Draw and by the spirit, God. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, we, we, we are praying for household salvation today. Yes, so Lord. Lord we, say we believe we will be saved. And our household, it is a promise. And yes, we stand in on your word. God, we pray, Lord God, and we, we, we pray, Lord God, even to all the four directions, south, north, west, east, give it up. In yeah. the name of Jesus. You got in to let the name of Jesus. people go right now. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, God. God. We thank you, Lord God, for your long suffering. And that thank your you. long suffering was not in vain. We thank you for your shed blood, Lord Jesus. We thank you that you blotted out the handwriting of yes, all Lord. those that was against us. Thank it was Lord. contrary. Oh, it yeah, was God. contrary to us, and you took it out of the way. Yes, Lord. Jesus, and you nailed it to the cross. And yeah, we God. thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Save your people for your glory, for Christ's sake. Save them. Deliver them, Lord. Yeah, God. We send your word yes, to all four directions in Jesus' name. Jesus. Say hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for your word tonight. We thank you, Dr. D, for allowing God to use you. I'm telling you, all month long, we have been blessed, y'all, by heavy hitters. We've been blessed by the women of God, the prophets of God that have just shown us how to, to discern and to know the times. And we thank you all for joining us. We thank you for just being a part of all access because that's what this is about. Ephesians 3 and 11 through 12 says we have boldness, access Amen. and confidence Amen. And so by through Christ Jesus. And so we thank him for his word tonight. We thank him for using his servants and we thank you all for joining us. We love you. And we want you to have a great, great week. Thank you, Dr. D. You have anything else? Yeah, I want to just encourage everybody to bring an offering, you know, to all access because you are using, God is using your life and your ministry to you. empower us. And so don't forget to cash out uh, all access. Amen. And, Amen. Uh, and also tell them, Dr. D, where they can go <laughs> on and get your books. Um, you have four. I have two that I was able to put my hand on in my library. I know I have all four of them. But yeah, how can they get these books? Um, I have them on hand. Okay. And, um, I have them on hand and they can contact me through messenger or by email and so if you want one, two, or three, we, we do. Uh, uh, one is 20. If you got two, is 35. And uh, if you did the, all, the whole, the five, then it's, um, I believe it's $80 for all five. Okay. Yeah, because I don't think you have for such a time as this, but I'm going to send it to you. Okay, great. Well, I put the email in the chat. And Amen. so if you would like to contact Dr. Diane Dunford, I mean, her awesome story about growing up in the South and being with the, one of the first in her family to go to college, just very, very inspirational <laughs> stories, but how she did it all through the word of God, how she was able to possess what she was confessing all throughout her life. Just a great book, um, all of them. And so Amen. we want you to be able to go and buy those. So thank you for joining us for All Access Live. I love you, and I will see you next week. Love you, too. God bless you. Bless Amen. you. All right.